in the name of him who orders our steps, in the name of him who says I am the way, the truth, and the life. We come this day, we come to celebrate life and legacy of your beloved brother and to the kindred of so many that are gathered here today. We want you to know that for the two score and one years of life, 41 years, that it's worthwhile thanking God for his life. And I think that it's appropriate at this time that we put our hands together and give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 Truly, we thank God for this honor and this opportunity to come and celebrate the life of Antonio Darrell Hicks. And so we're going to follow the program as it is printed. Um, we've had our selection, so at this time we're going to have our scripture reading. For our Old Testament scripture reading, it will come from the 23rd Psalm, 23rd Psalm. We find these words, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our New Testament scripture reading will come from the 14th chapter, the gospel according to St. John, verses 1 through 6. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? <coughs> Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. This concludes the reading of our Old Testament and New Testament scriptures. At this time, we're going to have a prayer of comfort uh, by Deacon Charles Reese, followed by a solo by Jessica White in that order. The Word of God states that man should, woman should always pray, in season and out of season. Whatever occasion, always give reference to God. Even though we come today with bowed down heads and humble hearts, we realize that God is still only a prayer away. So at this time, I'd ask that you bow your heads as we now go to our Heavenly Father in prayer. Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we come now, Lord, saying thank you for this opportunity. Lord, as we come, we realize that a link in the chain has been broken. But we know, Lord, that you are only just a prayer away. So I ask now, Lord, that you come by and see about this family. Throw your strong arms of protection around them and let them know that you are still by their side. Because, Lord, I realize that you are still a prayer here in God. And there's no problem too big or too small that you can't solve. And I ask now, Lord, as we come, that you would give this family strength where they may be weak and build them up where they may be torn down. Because, Lord, I realize that one day we, too, will have to travel this way to go to that house that's eternal in the heavens from which no born traveler has ever returned. So prepare us now, O oh Lord, as we make that journey. And then, Lord, I pray that when this life here shall be over, that you will say, well done, that good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on home now, and I'll make you rule over many, we pray. Because it's all now in the name of the Father, as well as the Son and of the Holy Spirit that we pray. Let those who know you say amen. 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 amen and thank you, Lord. Amen. Hicks family, I just want to say I love you and I pray that God continue to give you comfort during this time and uh, just to leave a word of encouragement. Don't give up. There will be mountains that I will have to climb and there will be battles 
that I will have to fight. But victory or defeat, it's up to me to decide. But how can I expect to win if I never try? I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy and I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. Never said there wouldn't be trials. Never said I wouldn't fall. Never said that everything would go the way I wanted to go. But when my back is against the wall and I feel a hope is gone, I just lift my head up to the sky and say, help me to be strong. Oh. oh. I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy and I don't believe He's brought me this far to leave me. Oh, oh, I know you didn't bring me out here to leave me lonely. Even when I can't see clearly, I know that I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road, it would be easy. And I don't believe he's brought me this far. I don't believe he's brought me this far. I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. Amen. 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 We want to thank Deacon Reese for sharing with us prayer of comfort and also to Sister Jessica White for reminding us that God has not brought us this far to leave us. At this time, we're going to have the acknowledgments from our funeral director, uh, followed by the song of comfort by Deacon Wendell Gibbons in that order. Good afternoon. Indeed, we give honor and glory to the man who has given us all that we have today, the Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, who writes that this is the day that the Lord has made, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It didn't say it would be the best day. It did not say we would feel the greatest on the day, but this is the day that our Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it for the life of Brother Antonio Hicks. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise at this time. We can do better than that. Let's give our great God a great hand clap of praise for all that he's done and given us 41 years for Mr. Antonio Hicks. A few letters that I will read for you today to the family of the brother Antonio Daryl Hicks. This message of sympathy is sorrowfully extended to let you know that we endeavor to share with you in your sadness. Please know that the pastor and members of Eleven Oaks Baptist Church are praying to God on your behalf. However, we do not pray as those who have no hope. We send this letter today as a source of consolation and our prayer is that you will find comfort in knowing 
that to be home with the Lord means an end of earthly service to our eternal reward. To the family, we realize that this is a difficult time. Therefore, let the Lord become the strength of your life. Be assured that we stand ready to assist any family member that may need guidance and direction in the days that lie ahead. During this time of loss, may God's promise of eternal life bring you hope. May his ever-present love bring you peace. May the loving thoughts and heartfelt prayers of others bring you comfort. Always remember that this is not an ending, but a new beginning of eternal life in our Father's heavenly home. God will comfort your heart if you will rely on him, and you will come through this experience triumphantly. May the peace of God dwell with you now and forever. Done by the order of the 11th Oaks Baptist Church, Barry O. Brown, Sr., pastor. To the family of the late Antonio Hicks, Sr., the pastor, officers, and members of the Olive Branch Baptist Church extend our sincere condolences to the family especially to Sister Jessica Hicks at this time of bereavement and great loss. We want you to know that your church family loves you and that we are praying your strength during this most difficult time. Psalms 18 and 2 states, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. In this passage, we find the assurance that God is our hope and our hiding place when we confront the troubles, worries, fears, and sad moments of life, like the sudden death of Brother Antonio. He lets us know that we can find abiding peace when we come into his presence. Remember that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. As you proceed through the days to come, know that the Olive Branch Baptist Church will be praying for you. We encourage you to find comfort and peace from our Heavenly Father, who's available to all who know him. Lovingly submitted on this day, May 23rd, 2020, Reverend Dr. Kevin M. Northern Pastor and Dr. Linda D. Ampey, Church Clerk. And we leave you with this word of comfort when peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul god bless you in the days to come amen amen we know that the source of god's strength is our life and we are praying for this family on today Vern and the rest of this family we know that through all things if we praise god we can make it through Let's again put our hands together for the life of Tony. Amen. On a Saturday morning, standing out of Greenwood Memorial, anybody know that God is the source of our strength? Is there a witness? Amen. Come on, let's love on this family. Point to all of us, your family. God will keep you, and he'll be the source of your strength. Amen. Hallelujah.
like this. It still comes. It comes from for you. Your, your peace you give me in the time. strength from and the source of our strength and so today I want to take this opportunity to say to this family that it is an honor and privilege to be granted to be able to stand in the stead of one who gets the opportunity to speak well of a life and to also offer words of comfort Sister Laverne and to Sister Jessica to those that gathered here today to ones that have lost a son and a brother, father, cousin, a nephew, a kindred, and an acquaintance, whether it is that you roll with him, whether you grew up with him, or whether you just happen to be kin to him. To each and every one that gathered today, I want to let you know that God is still God. Amen. He does not change because of situations and circumstances. The Bible says he's the same today, yesterday, and forever. And I pray then on the onset that that offers words of encouragement because it lets you know that although his life, 41 years living, has been drawn to a closure, we know that God is yet alive. And I pray today that these few words that I've come to share, uh, that it may help each and every one of you. Uh, one of the things that I have discovered is that God specializes in healing and mending broken hearts. We understand that death is received in various ways and it is not always dealt with the same way. But the one good thing is, is that there is no hurt that heaven can't heal. And so today I want to share with you, as we celebrate his life, I want to share with you from, you heard it in the reading of the correspondence that we shared earlier, Psalms 18, Psalm 18, one verse, one verse, I believe it is fitting for this moment as we come to celebrate his life and to offer words of comfort. Psalm 18, verse number 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, 
my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Well, someone might question and say, well, preachers sharing, what does that have to do, Brother Antonio, what does that have to do with his life? How can that comfort us? Well, I'm here to suggest to you that the word of God brings forth comfort. Uh, David in Psalm 18 speaks to us today. Uh, God uses his words that he pens and inks in the 18th Psalm. It is David who is facing a, a trying moment in his life. And that's why today I want to share with you that are gathered here today as we celebrate Brother Antonio's life. I want to talk about certain things in uncertain times certain things in uncertain times. Uh, we live in uncertain times. We deal with uncertain times. We experience uncertain times. And right now, family, I know that we're going through an uncertain time. And God is sharing with us today that although we are in uncertain times, we still have certain things that we can stand on. How do I know the Word of God will help us understand David is calling on his God. He's calling on God for deliverance, for God to answer him. We've got questions. And the best advice that I could offer, the Bible said, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. And if you're looking for answers, seek God, the one who knows everything. God is omniscient, he's all knowing. David is looking for God's rewards. David is looking for God's perfect way. David is looking for help to deal with his enemies. And I want to help someone today as we examine this text and share these words of comfort. Listen, uh, I didn't know uh, brother, brother Antonio uh, like most of you. I'm not one of those preachers that stand and claim that I know so much and I know everything. My yeas are yeas and my nays are nays. Amen. I find out about people either by observation or through conversation. And I've had the privilege to spend some time in conversation with the family. Uh, you do understand, I did say family. Uh, I've heard some things I've heard about Brother Antonio, but let me suggest to you that if we live in a world that you can't believe everything you hear. I know I'm helping somebody already. And so I sought uh, the counsel of, of family and uh, I, I'm here to suggest today that I believe that this word, this word will help us today. Three things, and, and I'm out your way as we come to offer words of comfort. David, David is living in uncertain times. Listen, let me help somebody understand. Uh, the pandemic is not the only problem we're dealing with. No, there are other problems. Uh, we, we're here today to celebrate his life, uh, but we cannot negate that there's a problem. And I want to help somebody. The pandemic is not the only problem, but the good news is that we know a problem solver. Uh, the one that can deal with any uncertain times. We are experiencing uncertain times, but the good news is, is that there are some certain things. And we can find it in the Bible. The Bible says here, uh, David here uh, writes now, he's experiencing his turmoil in life. He's facing uh, death and destruction at the hands of his enemy. He's trying to flee himself from the hand of Saul. He doesn't know which way to turn and who to turn to, but he does come to his senses and he realizes that God has never left him. Uh, I, I want to help somebody. I know we're in a moment of grieving and bereavement, but let me suggest to you that God never leaves us. He promised us. He said, lo, behold, I'll be with thee always. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Family, let me suggest to you in the midst of your anguish, in the midst of this pain, God is still here. So David remembers this and hears his words. He says, uh, uh, the Lord is my rock. Uh, family, let me help you understand that even in the moment of this time that the Lord is our rock. The first thing he says that in these uncertain times, there's some certain things I know. He said, I do know this certainly. He said that I have someone to stand on. Yes. Rock, rock uh, represents a solid foundation. If you're going to stand on something, stand on the rock. Uh, you do understand that the turmoils and tragedies and travesties and tribulations of life doesn't move rocks. Rocks stand still. So God wants you to know you got something to stand on. Amen. Yeah, and on certain times, these are the certain things we need to know uh, that we've got something to stand on. Psalmist goes on to say, 
and my fortress. And not only does he admit that he has something to stand on, but he celebrates the fact that he has something that surrounds him. Amen. I, I'm suggesting to you today that Brother Antonio had a surrounding. He had a family. He had a group of a gathering of individuals that 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 took uh, uh, the uh, privilege of being in a relationship with him. Uh, children, I want you all to know uh, that he was one. Watch this. That that evidently not only had a surrounding, but he was creating a surrounding because God blessed him to be able to give seed to produce. And let me suggest to you, we ought to be thankful for our surrounding. Uh, can I go in and help somebody? Uh, everybody can't be in your surrounding. Uh, you hear people talk about in your circle. I'm talking about uh, your surrounding. Everybody watch this. You got to be careful uh, because everybody don't belong in your surrounding. You want to be surrounded by folk you can hang, that you can depend on, folk that you can hang your hope in. Let me suggest to you, David realized that not only did he have something to stand on, but he knew he had something that surrounded him. We're here today. Amen. Just looking at this gathering, what are we doing? Surrounding him. He knew he had a family that surrounded him. Listen, this is what I did know about him. Uh, he was a mama's boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I talk it like I know it. He was a mama's boy. I ain't mad at him. I'm the youngest of 11. I did say youngest. Yes, five brothers, five sisters, and I was too a mama's boy. Yeah. And when you're a mama's boy, one thing you know is you got a surrounding. You know that no matter what, mama's going to be there for you. I knew, I knew, I heard. Listen, in his mama's eyes, Sister Laverne, he could do no wrong. That's right, no. Why? Because he was a mama's boy. Uh, anybody thankful that you have a surrounding, that you got somebody that will always be there for you, somebody that will always look out for you, somebody that's always praying, and somebody that's always pulling for you? Uh, listen, time out for hanging around with folk that, don't, that you can't depend on, you can't count on. I thank God that he had a surrounding. Yeah, it's evident today he's surrounded by those that are here to celebrate his life because you love him, because you cared for him, because you developed a relationship. These are certain things in uncertain times. We ought to be able to have certain things we know, things that, that we have an assurance of. So David goes on in the text. He said, first of all, he said, Lord is my rock. I've got something to stand on. He says... He's my fortress. A fortress is something that surrounds you, something that you're within, something, watch this, uh, that you can reside in, habitate in, and to know that, watch this, everything's going to be all right because you're surrounded. But then he goes on to say, the Lord is my rock, something to stand on, my fortress, something that surrounds me. But then he says, and my deliverer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, let me suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, that this helps us even at a moment like this in uncertain times. Because not only do we have something to stand on, not only do we have something that surrounds us, but finally, watch this, we have something that saves us. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm talking to everybody here. Uh, we, we have something that saves us. David said, Lord, in the midst of my trying uncertain times, I'm glad that I've got something uh, that saves me. Anybody grateful? Listen, I, I, I know we're gathered here uh, in the midst of this uh, Saturday morning in the sun. And I know that we are considering uh, getting uh, moving on in the day because it's hot out here. But can I suggest to you uh, that you ought to be thankful that you got something that saves you. I, I, I know there's some believers out here that would agree with me uh, that I ain't always been nobody has. I ain't always did nobody has. I ain't always got it every I crossed every T. And I'm quite sure Antonio didn't do it either. But isn't it good to know that yeah. we've got somebody that can save us oh I, I i thought i had a praying yeah. crowd here as we gather together to celebrate his life. i don't know about you but i thank god that we've got somebody or something that saves us because in certain times you better get hold of something that can save you i wish i had a witness in here uh, you do understand that in this life you will have tribulation you better have something that can save you in this life you will face persecution you better have something to save you and so David watch this helps us because he gives us certain things at uncertain times and he goes on and he says my deliverer he repeats himself my God every now and again you got to remind yourself that God is for you and if he be for you who can be against you David repeats himself he says instead of saying the Lord he said my God he shows possession he says my strength in whom I will trust 
My buckler, this simply means my shield. Yeah. David is repeating himself. But then he uses this word, and it's interesting as I remember what I heard about Brother Antonio. He says, my horn. Mm -hmm. You know anything about a horn? A horn makes a lot of noise, y'all. Uh, a horn, watch this, uh, reveals uh, and warns. And, and a horn, watch this, uh, makes uh, uh, an account uh, so that others will know something great is about to happen. Here it is, my brothers and sisters. What, what does this have to do with Antonio? Listen, I hear he like to talk a lot. Yeah, I hear sometimes if he was serious about what he was talking about, you couldn't shut him up. If he was talking about sports, and I, I, I know he's a Giants fan. And I ain't going to hold that against him. I'm not a Giants fan. I told y'all my yays are yays and my nays are nays. Okay, but let me suggest to you, by being a Giants fan, he, he was living in some uncertain times. <laughs> just suggesting uh, 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 as a matter of fact I'm looking at some of y'all face masks y'all look at living in some uncertain time too <laughs> the teams you represent here it is here it is I just simply want to say watch this uh, he, he made some noise he liked to talk uh, listen he was an instigator and agitator of conversation yeah. this, this, this is what I heard listen uh, 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 since Jessica was sharing with me uh, that uh, you know sometimes even she must run in the family <laughs> because uh, there were some times that she'd be running her mouth. <laughs> and Antonio used to say, listen, you need to move along. She used to interrupt him when his, his friends would be hanging out. She'd always want to get in the midst of it. And, and, and he had to tell her she had to move along. He, he was an agitator and instigator of conversation. Don't you know that if you're going to live in this life, you ought to at least be able to know how to talk to folks. You, you ought to be able to know how to get along with folk. If you're going to enjoy the life that God has given us, watch this. You got to be, you know, there's some folk all snobby or some folk that you can't even carry on a conversation with. Folk always putting their nose up, looking down at you. Uh, listen, they, they, I'm told that he wasn't that kind of fella. And we ought to thank God, watch this, that he watched this use his home. He knew how to make some noise. And as I get ready to close, let me suggest to you that there's some things that we need to know. There's some certain things that we need to have in uncertain times. And the Bible says, David says, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I'm done, but let me suggest to you that there's something significant in the closing of verse number two. He said, my high tower. Yeah. In another version, it says strong tower. Yes. Let me suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, that in this life we got to be able to know some certainty. We got to be able to have something to stand on. We got to be able to have something that surrounds us and we got to have something that saves us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But David said in the midst of uncertain times, uh, you better make sure you got a strong tower. Yeah, yeah. You got to make sure you got a high tower. And we thank God today for the two score and one, the 41 years, because the truth of the matter is, is that to none of us, tomorrow is promised. Amen. And we got to live every day, you watch this, and make the most of it. And we got to lean and depend on the one who not only we can stand on that surrounds us, but also saves us because he is a strong tower. Amen. And I don't know about you, but if you're going to lean and depend on anything, make sure it's strong. You can't lean on weak things. You can't lean on weak folk. Uh, you got to remain strong. So family, I encourage you that in the midst of uncertain times, uh, know what to lean on and depend on. And is there anybody in this gathering as you've come to celebrate the life and legacy of Brother Antonio Hicks, uh, know that when God, we got something strong uh, to lean and depend on. And family, I just want you to know that in the midst of this trying, time in the midst of this uncertain time be of good cheer and, and don't lose hope because there's a God that sits high strong tower and looks low and as long as we know him for ourselves we can lean and depend on him because God will always provide the Bible says that he takes care of his own he withholds no good thing I know that it's tough right now I know that it's 
midst of uncertain time, but in the midst of this uncertain time, make sure you hold on to the certainties. Preacher, can you leave us with some certainties? I'm glad you're interested. Here are a few certainties, family. Here's number one. He'll be a present help in the time of trouble. Here's another certainty. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Here's another certainty. Even though weeping may endure for an evening or even for a night, joy will come in them. How do you know, preacher? For the Bible says so. Here's another certainty. He is your shepherd. And you shall not want. Is there anybody grateful that even at the time like this, I know there's heavy hearts. I know there's tears still flowing. But I don't know about you. I thank God that I've got some things that are certain in my life. The songwriter said, blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. And if you don't have them, can I encourage you to get them? Because the only thing that will take you through uncertain times is certain things. And the only thing that's certain is Jesus Christ. How do you know? For the Bible says, Jesus said, no man come to the Father but by me. That's the uncertain. I mean, that's the certain thing. And I'm so glad this, this morning and this afternoon that we've got a God that will continue to be with us. So family, keep your head up. Keep trusting in the Lord. For the proverbial message said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all your ways, you got to stand on him. You got to be surrounded by him. You got to be saved in him. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And before I close, can I get at least five folk that can thank God for his life? Can I get at least 15 folk that can put your hands together and say, Lord, thank you for Brother Antonio. Lord, thank you for little Tony. Lord, thank you for all that he was because let me help you understand. God gave him. God kept him. And watch this. God took him away. For God giveth and the Lord taketh away. But thanks be to God for the time we shared. Can I get at least one person that can be grateful today for the time you had? It might not seem long enough, but can I suggest you ought to thank God for however long it was. Because some folk don't make it four days. Some folk don't make it 14 days. Some folk don't make it 25, but 41 years. And you ought to be grateful because his seeds are gathered and spread. And so his legacy will keep on and continue. Anybody grateful for that? I'm here to suggest that there are certain things in uncertain times. And we got to know that God is somebody that we can stand on. God is somebody that will surround us. And God is somebody that can save us. Certain things in uncertain times. Pray with me if you will. Our God and our Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the life and legacy, the sunrise and the sunset of Brother Antonio Darrell Hicks. Lord, we know you have the answers. And so in this uncertain time with questions and concerns, Lord, help us, navigate us, lead us, and guide us. Lord, continue to bless this family as only you can. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Truly, we honor the Spirit of God, and we bless God for this family. We're going to, according to the program, move into our committal. Amen. Going to move into our committal. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. The Spirit we leave with God knowing that the judge of all the earth will do right. Death is the destiny of every man. The living should take this to heart. As there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where we are going. And as we know that we shall someday die, let us here consecrate ourselves to do with our might what our hands find to do. And may we trust, and our trust be in him who said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me shall live even if he dies, and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, 
Here in the presence of death, we know that you are source of life, that our very breath is a gift from your hands. We thank you for the comfort we've received from your presence, and we ask that you hear us now as we call upon you for consolation and strength. Lord, as this family tries to mend broken threads in their lives, we turn to you. May we live each day in the awareness that we too shall walk through the valley of the shadow. May our hearts be open to your word and our lives be lived in your service until that day when we step from this life into the life to come. We thank you, God, for Brother Antonio Hicks. We thank you for this family. We thank you for reminding us we've got something to stand on, something that surrounds us, and something that saves us. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, the love of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with each of us henceforth and forevermore. Amen. When I have come to the end of the road and the sun has set for me, I shall wander right to the gloom filled room where I cry for a soul set free. So miss him a little, but not too long, and not with your heads bowed low. Remember the love that you once shared. Miss him, but let him go. Searching again on behalf of the Hicks and Connected families, they will help me to thank Reverend Northam for such wonderful words on today. To each of you for all the acts of kindness shown to them since the passing of their loved one. And on behalf of the Joseph Johnson and Son Funeral Home, we'd like to thank you, the family, for entrusting us with these services and certainly hope they've been prayed they've been found to your satisfaction. And we'd like to leave a little silent prayer with you that we like to say in times like this, and is that we hope that God grant you the serenity to accept those things that we cannot change, the courage to change those things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Again, these services are con now concluded. Due to the state mandate of COVID-19, we will ask that you will not greet the family, allow them to return to the family cars, and due to a tight cemetery schedule on the day, we ask that you all will leave the grounds. And these services are now concluded. You may retire to your cars.